Okay, this is old Cam. And this is not a spring check. And today we're going to be talking about oh, Hubert Humphrey. Yeah, that the President of the United States, or actually, um, he, he hasn't done it yet. But he, part of the stuff that was cut out <coughs> of his interview with CBS News was him bemoaning the fact that the, the Democratic Party stepped all over his inauguration speech and pulled a Hubert Humphrey. Well, how in the world did the Democratic Party pull a Hubert Humphrey? Well, uh, Hubert and what is a Hubert Humphrey? Hubert Humphrey was famous for the saying that the Democratic Party is composed of a lot of people that every time they get something going in the right direction, form a circle and shoot themselves in the foot. Oh. Yeah. So uh, he said they've done it again. He said what they did was in, in a matter of two days revitalize the entire Republican Party and the people that don't like a lot of the platforms that he was talking about. Well, I mean, in two days they suggested banning all automatic weapons, all, which means uh, no, no more, uh, you couldn't, no automatic shotguns for hunting, no automatic pistols anymore, no automatic, no, no, uh, no, uh, I mean, because they're talking automatic, semi-automatic. If, if it will shoot more than one bullet at a time, it's more of an automatic, but they were banning everything and they were going to ask them, to, they wanted gun registration of all guns in homes. And they wanted to have a base, they wanted a fingerprint base of everybody that was buying ammunition. They wanted to know uh, where it was being used. Uh, mm -hmm. So that was a no-no. And then they, they, uh, they wanted, it, they're, they're putting, proposing complete amnesty for all of the people that are here uninvited. And then after amnesty, then they would discuss about reforming the system, which basically <laughs> went over nowhere among their own supporters in the states that basically have an illegal problem. Mm -hmm. And then they decided they were going to make, totally make um, gay rights a civil rights issue, which pissed off all of their black constituency. Mm -hmm. Because it's not a civil rights issue, it's a lifestyle issue. Because I remember Jesse Helms a long time ago, I, I heard him you know, talking, you know, he was talking to the people I was at, and he said that, he said that, you know, that he, while he really didn't like Afro-Americans, you know, and people know it. And he didn't like gay people, and people know it. He said he was, and he was for the Medicare and Medicaid. He was for the Equal Rights Amendment. He was for this and that. And he said, if gay people will admit that what they have is a medical problem, I'll be the first one to vote to support it. Mm -hmm. But he said, I'm not going to give somebody that wants me to pay for his lifestyle. He said it's not going to happen. So the Democrats basically stepped all over that. So yesterday. Uh, let's see, Saturday and Sunday, Saturday and the day, Obama and Biden are out doing their Obama. Biden is out. Well, you know, he said, uh, he said, he said, if you want to kill, you want to do something, use a shotgun. We got a shot. He said, he said that what everybody has been saying, Republicans have been saying it, that banning an assault weapon, really, you're banning something that is no good. You, you know, said, why do they fire so many shots? Because you missed ninety percent of them. Mm -hmm. So Biden said, he said, the shotgun will do it better. He said. Uh, he said, uh, uh, a pump-loading shotgun, you can kill everybody in the room. He was being sarcastic, but at the same time, he was reaffirming what the Republicans had said about assault weapons, that they're nothing more than toys, and deadly weapons are shotguns. But he said, I own shotguns, I have a pump, and I go hunting all the time. Now, Obama yesterday, well, most people don't know it, but I do skeet shooting. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, every time we go to Camp David or one of the other places, my guest and I will go out and do That's skeet shooting. That's what they shooting. do. They do skeet shooting. They right? do skeet shooting. And if you don't do skeet shooting with a single shot shotgun, you do skeet shooting with a multiple shot shotgun. He says you do not do go hunting with a single shot shotgun. You do it with a multiple shot. He said that um, when you target shoot, you do not target shoot with a single shot pistol. He said in the Olympics, it's all semi-automatic weapons because you cannot load one bullet at a time in an Olympic competition or shooting. And he said a rifle, he said, uh, the reason why you use multiple, why you have multiple shot rifles is because in competition you can't load two bullets mm -hmm. because it's all time. So he's basically going, he said what happens is the Democratic Party got off message and made the made, rebuilt the Republican Party in two days. They, uh, he said, he finally, he told the guy, he said, we had the Republican Party completely on their heels, and he'd give them, the party in two days didn't listen to anything, and, um, and uh, he said what they did was reaffirm every single thing every critic had to say about what we're doing, every issue. <laughs> but he said, but uh, they also after the thing, 
that have commentators are going to for Everybody knows you're still going to do it by executive action, but executive action is almost always ruled illegal. Ah, uh, so do you think they're forcing them into that? Yeah, they're forcing them into executive action on... No, the Democrats are forcing them into it, or the Republicans? No, the Democrats are forcing them into it, because the the instant they said, we're going to let everybody in this country, going to give them all amnesty and make them citizens, but they said, make them citizens, uh, it basically did not go well with all of the states that have an illegal problem, and they they oh. they don't want to have to pay for all of the... Okay. It means they legally can go get all the health care for nothing, all this, everything that they were getting before, except they can get it legally now and then get more of it. And it just opens the way. Oh, yeah, I hadn't thought about that. They always think about them paying taxes, but they usually, mm -hmm. usually the other direction. But Obama's executive action already has said that if you have a person living here that's a citizen, you can come into the country. Uh, you legalized 11 million people immediately. That means all of their family all members can then come into the country. And you've got another 20, 30 million people on the books. Oh, no. So there was never any intention in any of the things to legalize everybody and make them citizens immediately. That basically did not go well with the Democrats in, the, uh -huh. in a lot of those states. And then the gun thing, they can't get 50 Democrats to begin with to side with the president on the on the assault weapon thing because most of them that knows guns know the assault weapons are jokes. They also know that if you take the handle off of a the, the handle off of an assault weapon, it's perfectly legal. So um. you don't ban anything. That was the problem with the original ruling in '94, was that they were selling the same weapon that it took the handle off of it. So it made it made it legal, became a rifle. Salt weapons got a handle, rifles don't. But unfortunately rifles do they also have handles. But so and then when they you know, when Feinstein and the other Democrats introduced that piece of legislation they said it got a great oh, you know, what you know, I heard that one said, What the hell did they just do to us? <laughs> so that went out and then they introduced legislation to um, make the gay rights issue a civil rights issue and it did not fly with the Black Caucus because there is not a civil rights issue. It is a matter of choice. And they, they say that while we feel that you should have the right to marry whomever you want, it, the right to marry whomever you want is not a civil rights issue. I said, we can't change the color we are, but you can decide not to marry somebody of your own sex. <laughs> so it didn't go over. The black, he needs blacks and Hispanics to keep control. The Democrats need it. And what happened was they stopped all over black and Hispanics in this country with those statements. They got a, it's a civil rights issue. So um, they said Obama is basically trying to, he's using 60 Minutes and other things now. He's going to be doing the talk shows again to try to undo two days of damage by the Democrats. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Now, And like I said, they know. I know, this is just coming, oh, I would say coming out of the box. He was just re-inaugurated. Re-inaugurated. He basically had... There was no reason because the Republicans cannot, I mean, I heard uh, one of the people, you know, uh, okay, most of the people on Fox actually, if the President of the United States would come to Fox News and bend over and say, kiss my rear, mm -hmm. the majority of people on Fox would run. I mean, you'd get people trampled and, you know, built, you know in, the, in the rush to go kiss his behind. But sometimes you get these people on that are not Republicans, that are independents, and they'll simply say, for Christ's sake, the Republicans were not elected to get for the support of the Democratic Party. They were elected to stop them, mm -hmm. and so they're trying to appeal to the Democrats' party. To, you know, they're not made no logic to them. And also, they found out that the the 47 people that are that Obama is counting on the Republican Party are all going to get their rear ends kicked out, including Boehner. Boehner's going to be thrown out of office. Oh, really? Not they're just not, out of being speaker, but out of out of his, office. They're going to, but the, you have to wait for uh, the election period because they don't call special elections. But they're working on the recall things for all of them now. They said that irregardless, Baynard is gone in, two four, uh, in 214. His political career is over. He will be. The, they've already got somebody younger that's basically more in tune with the, with with the Republican Party's values and the constituency than Baynard is. But they figure Baynard is probably going to switch to the Democratic Party along with the other people. But the Democrats don't want them. So it's not going to give them 48 votes because the Republicans are going to win. Those are Republican seats, for Christ's sake. Yeah. 
So, but um, that's what's been going on. I mean, the president carefully crafts a plan. Remember that um, that he got uh, he was basically moving health care along and had to do it with the nuclear option, which is basically not legal. They all, but if then when it gets to court, that's all going to get taught. I'm going to explain something simple. The Supreme Court ruling did not say that Obamacare was legal. They said that the Congress, the President, the Congress of the United States has the power to levy taxes. And until such time that an individual is hurt by the levying of those taxes, the Supreme Court has to allow those taxes to stand. But now there's people that are being hurt by what he's doing. The Supreme Court is rehearing everything. Oh, already? Oh, right. Oh, they're, they're, they're said they're being flooded with, uh, uh, with things because individual religious rights are being trampled on. Uh, taxing, you know, their people are... Um, this is a funny thing. They're using the Washington, D.C. as an example of uh, how this can't be done. Washington, D.C. is being taxed for Obamacare with no representation. Why? There's no. They can't vote in Washington D.C. It's a district. It is not a. Oh. They have no representation in Washington D.C. I there. thought they did. No, they're not represented because it was meant to be. It was designed to be an area of which people could not control the legislation by being an area where they had no. They had no vote. Their people live and work there. It was not to be a place where they could decide anything. Until 19, until a few years ago, they couldn't even elect a mayor who was appointed by the federal government. So it's taxation without representation. Yeah. Which and they always, they have had, but nobody pushed it. Yeah, and uh, they're now using that as a weapon that uh, the Obamacare is unconstitutional because they're taxing people that are not, that have no representation. Since they can't, they cannot say, well, everybody that lives in Washington, D.C. does not have to pay the Obamacare. Mm -hmm. And they, then you basically, oh, you mean that the rest of the nation has to have Obamacare, but not where the law was created do not have to have Obamacare. That won't fly. So mm -hmm. they said the litigation is coming in big and heavy now. But um, but, uh, but they all, the one thing they still all agree, Obama's going to do this all by executive action, but it will be tossed out. In the Supreme Court will toss it like they always toss Every piece of executive action is always undone. Well, I know that gun, 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 the selling of guns has become, well, let's just say more popular than ever. Oh, I saw a commercial last night. I mean, they're aver they were actually advertising the sale of handguns and rifles and assault rifles on television. I didn't know you could do that. There's no law that says you can't. But they're pointing out the President of the United States is preparing mm -hmm. to come into your, send the Army and the police departments into your homes to seize all weapons from you and it's time they're, they're selling places to hide your weapons now too oh they are yeah places that I love that An industrious person is basically advertising on television last night a plate of uh, safe weapons catches for your weapons to hide them from the president and his his uh, they're saying his brown shirts so uh, it's, it's big I mean it's just a, just a thing how, how can you know books on how to deal with Obama and Obamacare how to deal with Obama's confiscation of weapons. How to deal with Obama's violations of the, the 1st, 2nd, 14th, and 20th Amendments to the Constitution. Big wow. business now. He said that he has become... Uh, okay, this is... Uh, Democratic historians say that Obama will be listed as a minor president in the history of this nation because he could have been... He could have been a game changer. He instead, could have been. Instead, he decided that he was going to teach everyone that is not of his race or of his party a lesson, and that never goes over well with historians, because they're the ones that get taught the lesson first. Mm -hmm. So, got to, you know, and we look at this. Last week we talked about gun control. This week we're talking about uh, the Democrats pulling a Hubert Humphrey. Who knows what they're going to do next week for editorial. I know. Well, I think they'll write it for us practically. Themselves. They're writing it for us every weekend. So I guess until next week, this is Old Cap. And this is Not a Spring Chick. And we're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to uh, www.mbnnewsvideoweb.com or www.mondybubbles.net on the internet. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. Come to Facebook and like us, or friend us, or follow us on Twitter. But most of all, Think big, I don't think at all.